And here we go. This is the vital pyramid. Okay. So, I'm going to start the other way around so that you understand. Okay. Really, the foundation of the pyramid, the fundamentals, the foundation of the pyramid is the mindset. Everything is based on mindset. If you don't have the mindset, I've seen people that, can, that know how to fight and all this, they don't have the mindset. When it comes to fight for the life, they, they freeze. Yeah? I grew up in Russia, I've seen some little fucking Russian guy knocking the grannies out of some big as well because they had the mentality. They had the mentality of fuck you, I'm not going to lose, I'm going to do everything and you're going down. You know what I mean? That type of mentality. Combative mindset. Now when you go to, um, you go to uh, some martial art, okay? Traditional martial arts or not, yeah, I love martial arts, that's why I started with from a young age, so I'm not, you know, I'm not putting them down or anything. But the way that they are taught, usually they give you the kit first. So yeah. what is the kit? The kit is anything that makes you a, a better warrior, it's just an object. It's just, the kit basically is an extension of your body. I'll give you an example. This is a kit, this is a kit, this is a kit. Okay? Whoa! <laughs> uh, so, it doesn't matter what you have, yeah? Be it this, this is a piece of kit, yeah? It's an impact weapon, it's more or less a long impact weapon, not too much. This is an impact weapon as well, I can use it to impact, yeah? So, this is a piece of kit, I have this, it's legal. I don't it's have metal, it. Is it metal? Yeah. yeah. It's, leg it's legal to have on my persona if the police yeah. search me. Yeah. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a flashlight. I yeah. need it. That's it. Yeah, I got a reason to have it. It's not a weapon by design. Yeah. Okay. This is a weapon by design. Yeah. If I walk with that outside, I'm getting in trouble. Yeah. Okay. This that goes without saying. Yeah. It's not real, but you know, I, I use it to do the, uh, the, the maneuvers. Yeah. To to work fire. Are they on the extend rules actually illegal? Yeah. Right now? They, are, they, are, they are not illegal, but this one is plastic. Ah uh, right. One is, is a plastic. It's a training. It's a training uh, one. Yeah, yeah. I got it. So, most martial art, what do they do? If you go to a weapon based system, let's say Kali Eskrima, they give you a stick, they say, you all right, we give you the kit. Okay? We give you the kit, and now we're going to give you the skills. So we give you the kit, now we give you the skills, a strike like this, and that side, and that side, and that side, and that side, and we give you the, the skills. Okay? Now, if you get a good teacher, he'll give you the kit, he gives you the skills, and then he'll give you tactics. So the skills are not only how to use your skills, yeah? So timing, footwork, coordination, all that stuff is regarded as tactic, yeah? And then, very, very rarely, if you get a really, really good teacher, he will teach you about mindset. Now, why is that all the other way around? Because in combatives, it's, complete, it's the other way around. In combatives, we start with a mindset. We build people's mindset. When you're, a new, when you're a new recruit and you go to the army, what do they do? They break your mental. They completely break your mental. They tell you you're nothing. You're zero. You're shit. You're worse than shit. You're nothing. They break you completely because they want to build your mind again and make it combative. And because you've got all your cameras, you've got all your friends that are with you, you feel like you're a team. It's called cohesion. You're, you're like all like one body. Yeah? And so this is giving you the mindset. You see, that's why you see soldiers, yeah? even after they had their service, they're outside, they're, they're afraid of nothing. Because in their mind, they still have all their squad backing them up. Because that's how, they, that's how their mental has been built by the, the, the officers, the superiors. Yeah? So mindset, very, very important. Today, when I ask you to hit the pad, when I ask you to do the drills, I want to see emotional content. I want to see everything that you have. Don't let anything out. Yeah? When you fight for your life, you put everything that you have to stay alive. It's not like a boxing where you're here, you're jabbing and you're moving around and you block and you're there, you throw the elbow, you throw that knee and you're here and you're moving. It's like my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. It's an exchange. Yeah? There is a referee, there is a, the, the, the ring or the mats are soft. Yeah? There's no broken glass, no dog shit. There's, you know, it's, a, it's all fine. There is rules and regulations. Okay? But the mindset, so what, 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 what did I get for? The mindset basically is what you want to cultivate. Okay? The mindset to prevail, the mindset to win, the mindset to bite, to bite the guy's face off if you have to. 
if your house is getting broken into at 3 o'clock in the morning and your wife, you're sleeping with your wife, you've got your kids in your bed and, and you hear, uh, you hear your, your windows smashing in your house and uh, you get down really quick and you've got like, two or three guys with blades with the firm intention to cause deadly harm and go and rape your woman and kidnap your kids. I know it's, it's vile, yeah? But this, shit, this sort happen. of shit still happens. Could happen. Yeah, it does happen to everyone. I hope it never happens to you, but it does happen. And Combative was designed to deal with this sort of situation. Now, you, you need to have the mindset to pick a kitchen knife from your kitchen and stab them to fall. You need to have that type of mentality. I'm not saying that obviously there's going to be legal issues after, you're going to have to go to court and all this, but still let, let's say okay. you're still alive and your family is alive. That's the most important. Yeah. Yeah, it's to stay alive. Remember one thing, yes, you should be a lawful citizen. Yes, you should admit by the law. But when you have this type of, same type of situation, I told you, you're at home and three guys with blades break into, into your house. Will you, will you always have the time to call the police? No, maybe not. If, when you call the police, how long is it going to take you to say, uh, hello, my name is Vlad, that's my address, and I'm being attacked, and this and that. How long, with, the, with the adrenal stress and everything, how long is it going to take you to tell all, all these details to the police? You're and then how long, oh, yeah, and how long are they going to take to arrive? And when they arrive, will they always be able to help? If you've got fucking five holes here and one here, are they going to be able to help you? The question I is... you shared it? that article about that uh, retired army major was in Germany. Did you see that one? I'm Where he had sure. a home invasion of like four guys. Oh, home invasion, yeah. Yeah, and he managed to block the door, one of them got in. Yeah. But he was on top of his wife, strangling his wife, and he ended up stabbing him to death. Yeah. And kept out the other three, but reading through that account of what happened, it is terrifying. But look, you know, I, I got a lot of can people... Can it get to grips with what you'd have to do in that situation, mm. don't you? I got a lot of people telling me, uh, Jules, the stuff that you show is too violent, you're going to get, get jailed, you're going to, you know. And I'm saying to them, wait a second, you go and train martial arts and when you train to punch, are you thinking, oh, God, I shouldn't punch him too hard because I don't want to get in jail. When you train the knife and you train the... You go to kendo and learn to use the sword. They give you the kit again and the skills and the tactics. Yeah, you, you learn to use it. So, are you telling yourself, well, I'm just gonna spit here, I'm just gonna cut his head halfway, just you know? So, come on, man. Do you know, like you train something, you gotta, you, you gotta train for the worst case scenario. You gotta train to give your all. Yeah. So the mindset is very, very important. You need to know what you're ready to fight for. You need to be ready to. You need to know and ask yourself what you're ready to kill for. I'm, Hey, I'm one of the nicest person you'll ever meet. I'm quite spiritual, I like meditation, I, I'm quite a zen type of person, yeah? But if somebody fucks with my family, I'm not going to hesitate. Do you know what I mean? If I have to, if I have no other choice, I'm not going to hesitate, not a second. Do you know what I'm saying? So you shouldn't. Now on the top of mindset, when you've got a good mindset, combative mindset, that you know what you're ready to do in order to survive, we're going to put tactics on the top of it. Uh, there is a bit of tactic here, okay? We're going to put tactics, so tactic, like I said, is strategy, military strategy. When we, when we talk about combatives, it's military strategy, okay? Then the skills on the top, which we're going to work as well today. Tool development, learning how to, how to pound, how to cover, how to elbow, how to throw all this stuff, how to throw the knee, how to bite, how to headbutt, how to do all that stuff, how to maim, how to rip ears, how to do all that shit, okay? Worst case scenario, yeah? The skills. And then on the top, once you have the mindset and you have the tactics and you have the skills, I'll give you the kit. And now you're a bad motherfucker. Now you're really dangerous because you have the mindset of fighting. Without all this shit, you already have the mindset. Like you see, I've seen some people in Russia when I grew up, they never went to any boxing classes or anything. They never took any martial art, but they're some of the best fighters I've ever seen because they had the heart, they had the spirit, and they had the mindset. They had the mindset to, to put their head down and go, fuck it, they're going. You've seen that, you've seen that. Tough guys, tough guys. Yeah, so they had the mindset alone. Now give these people some tactics. Yeah. Give on the top of the tactics, give them skills. And then on the top of them skills, give them some kit. Look at the Russian right. Ocean uh, football elegance against the Atlanta, That's the it. English. Yeah, so now look, now speaking about kit again, yeah. To quote a little bit what Lee Morrison says, yeah, uh, because a, a lot of that stuff is coming from him, yeah, he's really a mind of information when it comes to combatives, so uh, I, I look at other people too, but a lot of stuff here comes from him, yeah. So the kit, for example, like I said, could be footwear. If you're wearing flip-flops and you're running and you're stepping on a piece of glass, you're pretty fucked. If you've got good shoes that you can run with, 
It's a good pair of kit. If it's winter and you've got a, a, a jacket that's thick enough to slow a blade down, if, if you get slashed, that's combative, would you say, yeah? Always have a phone. Always make sure that your phone is charged. Always make sure that you got some credit on your phone. Always make sure that you got uh, 20 quid in your wallet to take a taxi if you need to. Always make sure that you got a couple of coins in your pocket to make a phone call should you have to. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we're not going to talk about EDC today. EDC kit, okay, which is uh, more in America than <coughs> like that because it's legal to carry weapons. So they got the bag with the, with the gun and the knife and, and, uh, and the first aid kit and the tourniquet and all that stuff, which, which is stuff that we're going to work on maybe next time, yeah, because the field medicine and all that stuff, this is part of combat it as well, yeah. Well, as, as you can understand now, mindset, tactics, skills and kit, this is the vital pyramid, very, very important. This is the base of, if you want to build your, your combative mindset, this is your skills, this is what you work with, the vital pyramid. 